Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Besson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cave. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance.
detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. John B. Sodden's house. The lair of the beast. The dead of evil, the epicenter of ecological destruction. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest, huh? Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. <laughs> Charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. <laughs> Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. 
Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. Well, first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. Thank <laughs> you. 
Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I... receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bissant's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter.
I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the Lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Majestic creature, so full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. Great! I haven't been in any RC combat since that job with holding Istanbul. It was awesome! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Hurry, heads up. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mer... The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh?
Money, but I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the Lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Thank you. 
Grizzleface has caught the scent. He's coming. Grizzleface is moving towards your position. Nice work. Trot old Grizzleface over to the next oil main by luring him with fish. <coughs> can run pretty fast. He's on the way. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move. Grizzleface is moving towards your position. <coughs> Thank you. 
Grizzleface has caught the scent. He's coming. <laughs> Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzleface is on the move. Solid work, Murray. Now that the oil lines are exposed, Sly's all set up for a paragliding job off the lighthouse. for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. <laughs> Teams are a 
Just let me at that northern line of tractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. Ah! <laughs> 
coming, Sly. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. Yeah, this is heavier than it was. <laughs> Jack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles' protective instincts against Bissan. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. <laughs>
deadly. Trust Murray's informant. That's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay. I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days my aim is impeccable.
trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. to hack the steering controls.
The second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on him. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat Jean Bassan at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Basan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basan's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. That's a wrap, Bentley. Everything's set up for the Lumberjack games. Although I should really buy a throwable distraction before we start competing. You never know when they might be useful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talents from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let him try. Just as I thought. Nothing but an amateur axe man. But 
Watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. you little varmint. scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Murray, use those grapples to hook onto me, son. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. Ha ha 
Oh, that's one of the best times I've ever had. tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last, the spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up.
since 1847. Consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. 
You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take him? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Missad. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Cook him! There you go. Sauce? How's that? Wait! Okay. Sauce, wait! Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Wait! Uh-huh. 
turtle. Call out which lever I should pull. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Sauce? Logs! Logs! Okay. Hook him! Sauce! Done. Flames! 10-4. There you 
Let's get to killing. Sauce? I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Shake a leg, that blimp's on its way. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. <laughs> 